the the Jews take all the gold and they give us a bunch of paper and we and we and we worship and we protect them in their stupid fake Jewish state over there. And anyone that talks against it is called anti Semitic and they're like white supremacists that just are killing indigenous people. That's like pathetic. And the whole human, anyway, and the whole uh, human race uses that paper currency. I, I am just. Oh, my grandma uh, was mad when I talked about that stuff to her. And they, uh, hey, grandma, remember the Balfour de- Declaration when uh, when we were told to buy war bonds? You were there alive during World War Two. She, she's like, we didn't just go into that war just to help Israel, right? Just well, no, Israel wasn't there yet. Just to help Israel get established. It was so well, good. Was- Brainwashed. You look at that piece of paper and you see all the pretty Illuminati designs and you think you got something in your hand. I believe that the big institutions are more dangerous to our liberties than standing armies. You've been duped. Well, we've all been duped. We weren't born to think that a piece of paper was worth the shit. Oh no, I said a bad word. I just invalidated my Muslimhood. A Muslim, if a Muslim says a bad word, apparently that just nullifies everything that you ever said in your life. But you can you can fund Al Qaeda, and then you're still Muslim. Here we go. Here we go. Where do these bankers get the money? For over two hundred years, European Where's bankers the paper? have been able to buy a with it. Of their host countries to print it. Hey, I got some paper for you. Go buy an AK-47. Because you got a briefcase of paper with a bunch of Illuminati symbols and numbers on it. If the king would make paper currency a liability of the state, the moneylenders would print as much as he liked. Thus the banks of England, France, and the Reich Bank came into being, but they were all private corporations. Accordingly, the moneylenders got started interest on assets they created out of thin air. That's a good deal. Oh yeah, yeah. just start printing money out of thin air. Just, all the care all you need to do is own a, own a coinery. They got a financier of burning government and to wage costly wars. This quick bought the wealth of the world using our credit. This you serious? You serious? You super Usury, usury. It's usury. So what they do? Here's what they do. They burn a bunch of money. Okay, they keep there. gold mining because all they want to do is hoard gold. Listen, they burn a bunch of money out of there, and then they win uh, the money. And they wage war the and money. and put guns in everyone's hands. They win the money to uh, to Russia. And then oh, yeah, they land the Double dealing and back. Where was it called? Double dealing. And then they found the start of war. And so. <laughs> was this the birds yeah. and the bees? Okay, here's the birds and the bees of. Well, I was thinking about it. I was reading about it in a book. How hard it was for America. We did it, you know, we, we did it. But how hard it was for America during the war to. Uh, <laughs> Okay, now, is that large? Okay. So, do you have a year on when the war pimp renaissance started? At point that, okay, now, this was coined by Jello Biafra, but when did the war pimp renaissance start? We had to have built the machinery that was used against us in our own war. Remember that song? War! Pimp war! Renaissance! War! Even when I used to listen to music. So we could step stop the Russia easier. You know? They got war pimps over there too? 
It's the war. Bam. War. I can't keep. I keep going back to the days of ignorance when I used to listen to Lard. And then we shift grain over the country so that the <laughs> Japanese can have full bellies. Well, there, they... there is a whole bunch of useless hoarding. Gold, gold's supposed to be a means of trade to help distribution be easier. You don't just put it in a vault. Did you ever see that Bible verse when it said you, you go and bury your treasure and then you come out and then you go to hell? Because you didn't even you didn't even spend it and But I really that's a parable because um, in the parable he, he condones usury because yeah, he, he's talking about usury of, of right. the right like of righteous deeds. If if you if you lend to a law, he's got, he does the only good thing gold is for is if you lend to, is, you lend to a like law, he gives back to you a hundred times because the law can always give back to you a hundred times. Well the only thing gold's good for is it doesn't it doesn't rust and everything, so they should just build with it. You want to know who the World Bank is? It's a law, and, and every single, anything that's money belongs to a law, or everything belongs to a law anyway, and so does the money system. And the way you use it should be according to, to the book of transactions and uh, uh, authentic a lot of of hadith money. of Muslim and Qatari, if you ever... System. Obviously, the Saudi nationalists haven't even read the book of transactions for like 500 years because somehow they forgot that paper isn't real. That doesn't belong to like, or, or, or they think that they're going to make gold dinar a national currency. That's so stupid because you can just print gold dinar in a neighborhood because they're trying, they want to make gold dinar and then try to control it afterwards. That's even stupider. You know what? No wonder Gaddafi failed in, in Hussein. They, they're like, here's our new national currency. It's like supposed to like crop up in neighborhoods and stuff. You have like a neighborhood coinery and you start printing gold. And I don't know how you get the gold back from the Federal Reserve. They got it pretty locked up over there. <laughs> they got pretty locked up over there. <laughs>